I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for you to watch me, watch me nene. So, I'm this is the one minute chart. I was short, got out of my short position right here. I'm ready to re-enter it. Now, I have a small order in down here. I hate having orders. I like to be a bot. I like to be a UNAI. Don't use orders, it's stupid. Now I'm gonna prepare myself. Okay, now, you see we have the German pinpricks. As soon as I seen the werewolf turn, that was when I got out of my short. So this, I hope, will go up to like 172, maybe a little higher. And then I'm going to go ahead and re-enter my short. I'm just going to throw it in at market. Why am I so confident, okay, in doing this? Well, when I look out, look at this, German debt spiral, okay? When you look out at the day, that's the position of the tide. People right now are getting fooled. They're thinking it's going back up. They're getting FOMO. They're trying to buy back in. They're thinking they're catching a bottom. They're catching a falling knife. They are catching a falling knife. So we're just going to wait, okay? Just going to wait and watch the next candle on the one minute. I'm going to pause you so I can take a bite of my breakfast. So I'm checking in with you. Still hasn't been a clear indicator that I should jump in just yet. Waiting for the right minute. I'd like this to go to 172. This might turn, this might turn any second because look, we have no prick on either side. It's a eunuch. It's a eunuch. It's a he, she with no pee, she. Let's see what happens. Okay, this might be the moment. We have, if you can see this closely, the infamous spinning Kirby top. At this point, I'm going to go ahead at market because I think the next candle is going to be red and I'm going short. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I got my breakfast in my mouth. Look at that candle, baby. I didn't want to pause it. I wanted to leave it in real time so you could see it. This is how you kill it in BitMEX, okay? It's this simple. It's really this simple. You don't have to worry about orders and, and all the tomfoolery nonsense. You don't have to worry about candlesticks and doji patterns and all this complex stuff they even make their screen look complicated first of all they put it on night mode okay so everything is black in the background makes it look like they're working with fucking rocket science and the cure for cancer now a lot of you guys are happy getting into these programs that pay you one percent a day or you're happy getting one percent from your bank and well just a couple of minutes of my time doing my predictive Tactical warfare trading using the German pinpricks. Sometimes I call in overflight support, air support. You got it, baby. We call in who? General Williams to bring in his fractals with air support. There you go. Now you look at this as a war. Let's blow up the map. Okay, here we go. Just a few minutes later. Um, there's your third German pinprick. Meaning that we're going to go down now. It could be a better indicator because you want them in size order. Succession, baby. Okay? So you need to have a certain length here, a certain length there. And then you need Long John Silver right here. And this is how you do this. But let's see if we open this up full screen, what we got here. All right. So this is really super simple. You want to go over here and choose hike and a sheet candles because they look nice. If I really want to be a dickhead and mess with you, I could do a little magic like this and I could say, oh my gosh, there's no green bars. All of the buyers have left. It's only complete sellers. This is a rare occurrence of what we call ghost bars. Look, all technical analysis is bullshit, people. I've told you so many times, but there's a whole industry around it. It's like the same reason. They haven't released a cure for cancer. I'm sure somebody has it, but it's big business. Let's check back in on my candlesticks. Dropping, dropping like, dropping like, mm, I need a good example. I have it in my head. I don't know if you remember that movie with Johnny Knox. What was his name? Johnny Knox? Knoxville? What the fuck his name was? And he did this movie called uh, Bad Grandpa. 
and he had his nutsack caught in a, like in a vending machine, and it was drooping down, hanging. It was hilarious. Anyway, reminds me of this. So this hanging ball formation, okay, was first this term right here where you have a big precipitous drop, and it's excellent for shorting, um, was first coined by a technical analysis guy, believe it or not, who was watching a Johnny Knoxville movie. The hanging formation starts like this when you're looking at it at the charts, and then it progresses. Oh, sorry. So you know, you know that when you see this formation on any chart, it's really a problem and you need to short immediately. I know, I know I'm going to get in trouble for this fucking video. You know what? I don't fucking care. It's hilarious. All right. But you got to watch for these chart formations and then you have people try to catch a falling knife. Okay. And that's what happens. Look right there. He caught the falling knife. You got to be careful. You can't go against the trend. Otherwise you wind up confused, confused. Pay attention who you listen to on YouTube. Do better things with your crypto. <laughs> All right, I'm out.